Well, I'm waiting for everybody to come in here. I really, really, really hope that these Kevin Samuel girly guys will bring their ass in here. I, I find it really amazing. I want to have a conversation. I don't give no fuck about Kevin Samuel. Y'all is acting like the nigga Jesus that reincarnated himself with a motherfucking scarf on and you niggas is just loving it. I don't care about Kevin Samuels. I don't care what he has to say. I don't give a damn how the women feel about it. I don't give a damn what you busted ass, non high value, non six dollar, much less six figure earning ass niggas have to say. I really don't care. Right. But. I make a little comment today and I thought it was really interesting because I've never really had an opinion one way or another. But now I do have an opinion, okay? So I would like to invite any of the motherfuckers who feelings is hurt over what was, um, you know, said in the post earlier. Please feel free to come on. Now, what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to sit here and debate with you niggas over Kevin Samuels right and wrong. So if you're not the ones who left the comment, don't say shit to me now, okay? Right? Oh my God, if you were married, you would understand, but you're not. Stay focused, media. I was married for 12 years and with the same man for 15. What the fuck are you talking about? See, y'all make my point for me. As soon as you coming in this bitch off the gate, you motherfucker said a whole lot of shit in that comment section where it's funny how you are so fucking uh, jaded and all of this shit that you hear him say. You really you're really heartbroken men is what the fuck your problem is that you sure came in my comment section and made a whole lot of assumptions. I wouldn't understand if I wasn't married. Kevin Samuels doesn't talk about married people, sir. He doesn't talk about married people, sir. He talks about motherfuckers who want to throw their money around. What happened and why I was single? Because I decided I wanted a divorce, okay? All right, so the first thing that I want to point out is that this woman is very aggressive. Very aggressive. This is masculine energy. Now, it's not about men being whatever level they are. I don't care if they're low level, middle level, high value, all of this. I don't really care about none of this. What I'm trying to get people to understand is stop thinking about these kinds of things these one templates and start thinking realistically to your situation now i don't understand what men have been saying to you in the previous post or whatever you do i don't even know what you do but let me just break it down what the men are saying right is just basic information that you need to understand this is about dynamics it's not matter about the man being this level or that level it's about understanding your role as a woman you're meant to be given birth you're meant to become a mother you're meant to be a wife you're meant to be submitting to a man. But what you're doing now is that you're rebelling against all of that idea because you now yourself in this first world country that we live in now are doing exactly the same thing as a man. What is in his purpose that you now become a man. This is the thing that we're trying to destroy here. We're trying to get you to understand if you're a woman, behave like a woman. Do not behave like a man. I don't know who's telling you to behave like a man. That's not doing you any favor. Now, it's not just to this specific, I'm talking to women in general. You modern women need to understand this. You younger lots need to understand this now. If you end up going in the same paths as these older lots, these older women, you're not going to go far in life. You're not going to get anything that you want in life. As a matter of fact, you're not going to be happy at the end because you're going to be like her, a divorcee. Now, you don't understand the impact it has on a woman who's divorced and the actual significance you gain if you become a married woman. You have a lot of rights if you're married. Matter of fact, if you're a married woman, you get a lot of good benefits from it, far more than the man. But you don't look at it from that aspect. 100% guarantee a married woman is going to be more respected than a single woman. What are you single for? What are you doing out here? Just doing nothing, just get run up by a bag of man, that's all you're doing. Why y'all think that just because you make money in this motherfucker, that you can do whatever you want, that you don't have to respect your motherfucking wife, that you don't have to talk to her like you have some fucking sense, that you don't walk around here thinking that, oh, you're the prize and she's not. Let me watch you niggas cook your own food, have your own babies, bitch, and make your own house a home. How about that? Why don't you go and do that shit, huh? Are you married, sir? Huh? He serves a serious purpose. Let me tell y'all something. I don't give a fuck what purpose he serves. At the end of the day, this is my thing. Somebody said, why is this an issue? Oh, God. I see we got a gang of motherfuckers in here tonight. I, I, I got some time. Y'all can all get cussed out. What you want to do? You can come to the live. 
Because again, we ain't even got to the point of conversation. Again, let it be clear. I don't give a fuck about Kevin Samuels. What you niggas have to say in this comment section, how do women feel about him, I don't care. But what I do have a problem with, I want you to understand this. It is very interesting when you observe people. So there was a post earlier on my page. Did you see the post? It was actually quite funny. And if I was Kevin Samuels, I would have thought it was funny too. You niggas got so butthurt. And I thought that it was really funny, all of you uh, Kevin Samuels fan who came into the comment section. First of all, calm the fuck down, okay? Calm down, sweetie. Stop acting like bitches and you niggas might could get some women. Listen, I don't think you're understanding the point in here. There's a lot of 304s right now out in the streets that can't cook, that can't submit, can't do nothing but just be on Instagram or social media 24-7 talking to a bag of man, taking selfies or the bum or the breast, this and that. And you're expecting the men to aspire to get these type of women. They want wives. You understand? There's a different mindset of men right now. We're talking, the men that are watching these content right are men that actually want to go into the successful dynamics. Or are interested in that. We're not talking about any random man. He's not going to be interested in these kinds of content. So we're talking about men that know what they want. Men that are doing their purpose. I keep saying the word purpose. You have to understand this. Make your life simple. Stop making it complicated. Do you think Kevin Samuels makes his life complicated? My life ain't complicated. And that's the reason why I don't go through any stress. It's simple. This is what I'm trying to make you understand. Go make your life simple. The more simpler your life is. What your duty is in the first place. Your life ain't going to be stressed. You're not going to have no problems. Make it complex like these modern women nowadays, you're going to have severe problems. Right? So it's not about these men just getting any woman. Getting any woman is not even hard. It's an easy task. It's a matter of getting a woman to be able to submit to you. Getting a woman that's actually going to be worthy of the title of a wife. The title of wife can't just be given to any woman. You modern women think, yeah, I can be a wife. I'm wifey material. No, you're not wifey material. You're out here sucking 20 man's ding-dongs. And you're thinking you're wifey material. Get in the kitchen and start cooking and cleaning, things like that. Start uh, toning down your voice. Stop swearing like this woman. Stop doing and behaving like a man. If you want the title of a wife, what do you think this is? Take this more seriously. You think this whole situation is a joke thing. It's not a joke. Because you think everything's a lie in this situation, it becomes a complex situation. Take stuff seriously in life. You have to understand there's places where you can have fun. But there's also times where you need to become serious. You can't take every single situation in life as a joke thing. If you do that, well, good luck to you. Right, thank you. Motherfucker coming in here talking about, you're right, am I divorced? But Kevin is divorced too. And he owe child support and he a deadbeat daddy and all of that good shit. But I don't even give a fuck. That's not even my issue. My issue is, why are you niggas so hurt over a goddamn video? This is the conversation tonight, okay? So don't bring your little girly ass asses up in here trying to argue with me about his points or whether he's right or wrong. I don't give a fuck. But I don't understand why you felt the need to come in, in onto the post and you niggas' feelings was hurt. Y'all started spilling all of your motherfucking secrets. You don't think so? Let me tell you. See, I went to school for psychology. And when you niggas jump in the comment section and you start saying shit like, this is why, you know, uh, uh, independent women feel like they don't need us no more. You know, they think they can do everything by themselves and so they don't want us around. Sir, you obviously have an independent woman in your life or you've met a couple and these bitches didn't want to deal with you no more because you wasn't up to par. Sound like a personal problem to me. Right? It sounds like you upset about something. I don't understand why you in my comment section saying that shit. He has a very valid point. It's not just him. So a lot of men, matter of fact, people that I meet have consistently faced this. I've seen so many divorces such as yourself. I've seen so many cases like this happen on a consistent basis, right? So it's this whole idea. When you modern women have this independence, what I'm saying is that you modern women become like men with your independence now. Because one, you're earning, you're, you're doing work, you're um, doing everything that basically a man is doing, right? On top of the fact that you're sexually liberated, so you're just sleeping around, not understanding the consequences, that men and women are very different. So you as a woman, sleeping around with a bag of man is not doing you any favour whatsoever. So your pum pum right there is getting stretched out differently. I don't think yeah, when a serious man comes in, he's not going to notice that you've been ran through by a whole bus of men. But you're like, oh, it's okay. I can do it. If the men can do it, I can do it. No, you can't. I know you shouldn't think like that. Just because men are doing it, or these men are doing it, don't think that for you... As a woman, it's going to be the same impact as a man. Your downstairs part will show it all. To a serious man that comes, he will see that it's halas. 
He's not going to come to um, some sort of disease looking thing that's been run through by a hundred bag of men. We're talking about you younger women. I'm, I'm highlighting to you younger modern women. Don't become like this. It's your life. Remember this. It's your life. You're the only one that's going to be impacted by this. The whole act of being feminine and submissive is gone for you modern women. Now if there are any of you modern women out there that have that quality... You're in a minority right now. You're in a minority. This is worldwide. First world country. You're in a minority. The rate of marriages is decreasing so much. So why is this happening? Is it because of the men? No, the men know what they need to do. Because men are logical creatures. So we know what we need to do. So it's the modern woman. But then what you modern women like to do. You like to put the blame on us men. Say, oh, we're like this because of you men can't do this. What do you mean you're like this because we're not doing this? You're like that because you've done it yourself. So don't blame us men. Take accountability for your decisions. If you go get ran through by a bag of man, don't try to blame it on me. Don't try to blame it on him. I didn't say for you to go get run up by a bag of man. You made that decision that you want to go and get run up by a bag of man and you did and now you flopped. That's not my problem. So start taking accountability for these bad decisions that you make. And start waking up. This is not a joke anymore. This is serious. When are you going to fix up? When are you going to actually say that I'm going to make the changes? It was a post that was funny. I don't give a fuck whether you agree or you disagree with Kevin Samuels. The goddamn skit was his ass to the T. The man even looked like Kevin. It was funny. Lighten the fuck up, you bitch ass man, and fucking laugh. You niggas came in here with your nuts all in a motherfucking tight and was sad as fuck. For what? For what? That's what I want to know. For what? And then this is what I also find interesting. Okay. Is that you all want to allow Kevin Samuels to have his perspective and his opinion about what he thinks. And let's be real. It is this motherfucker's opinion. Okay. I'm allowed to have an opinion too. All I said was, this is why I'm not worried about what Kevin Samuels has to say, because I'm not trying to talk to Kevin Samuels or any men like him. Right. So let me be clear. I don't give a fuck how much you think Kevin Samuels is correct or if you think he's right or if he helps you express all of your anger pent up inside because bitches don't like you. OK, I don't care about none of that. I really don't. OK, but this is my opinion and I'm allowed to have my preference. And the point that I'm making is I don't give a fuck what he think, what he say, what he do. I don't like men who snap and clap and act like a bitch. He is metrosexual. Is that the word you want to call him? The nigga be having him scarves over his neck. He is very feminine to me, okay? Now, just like this motherfucker can have a preference, why the fuck can't I? You niggas is mad because I laughed at something that's him to the T? Now, do any of you girly motherfuckers want to come here and explain that? Do not come on my live talking about, oh, well, why you don't agree with his points? I'm not here to debate this nigga's points. I just want to know why you motherfuckers jumped on here with your feelings hurt. Somebody told me I need to go sit my ass down coming for Kevin. How did I come for Kevin? I posted some shit that was that nigga to the T. Let me tell you something. I've had people do imitations of me. And they were hilarious as fuck. They were me for real. And I laughed about the shit. And I shared the video so other motherfuckers could watch it too. Why are you upset? And then you wonder why the fuck you sit around watching some girly ass man all motherfucking day and want to defend him on social media even when motherfuckers ain't saying shit about the bitch ass man, right? Okay, so I understand her point on the fact that, look, if someone's going to make a little parody or something like that, it's going to be humorous and that. Um, so I understand that aspect of things because that happens when you get famous, when you get more bigger, you know, people make these like joke things or try to be like you and that. I understand that aspect from her, but what I'm going to take from what she's doing in this video is that and showcase is the fact of masculine energy here. She doesn't have to be swearing, talking very aggressively regarding this situation. And she's very angry about the men. I don't know what have you men said to her, right? But she's very upset with it. And now she's saying that I should not come at Kevin Samuels. Well, you're constantly insulting the man and then you're calling him feminine. I, this whole thing about the man being feminine and that just because he articulates his words in a certain way. At the end of the day, all I care about is what is being said. Is what he's saying benefiting the communities? 
Yes or no? For me, it's a yes. That's ticked. So I don't care if this man is moving feminine or whatever you believe he's moving like. That's not the point. The point is the message. Blue balls in